Traders, have you ever wanted to compare two or more symbols at the same time? Either for additional research, pair trades, short and long, or maybe visualize your entire portfolio on one chart or multiple charts. We're going to show you how. Now, the majority of you, majority of you already know about our plus symbol up here where it quite literally says compare or add symbol. So if we click this plus sign, we can now type in any symbol in the TradingView symbol universe and plot that on the exact same chart. So we're looking at Tesla. And why don't we add Bitcoin to the chart? So we click and Bitcoin's on the chart. Tesla's the candlesticks and Bitcoin's the orange line. What's so cool is we can just keep doing that. So why don't we add the Euro USD to this chart? Now we've got Bitcoin the orange line, Tesla the candlesticks, Euro USD the teal line. And we can keep doing this for pretty much as long as we like until we've made the most perfect chart comparison that we're looking to do for our research. And keep in mind, in this search box, you can quite literally type in anything on your mind and add that to the chart. If we want Google on the chart, well, we just searched Google, then we clicked Google, and now it's the yellow line added to the chart. So this is how you compare multiple symbols at once and pay close attention now to your status line fields up here at the top left because these are going to show you all of the symbols on your chart. So this is how you know what's on your chart. Now one important thing when you're comparing symbols is to pay attention that you have all line charts here and then some candlesticks. Well recall that our primary chart is Tesla and our primary chart type is candles. So why don't we change our primary chart type to line and check that out. Now we've got multiple lines all on the same chart and we can zoom out or we can zoom in. And this shows the percentage change over time of all of these symbols from the starting point. And the starting point here is calculated from the most, you know, from the oldest point we can see, which is December 8th. But if we zoom out, now we've made the starting point August 17th and we can see the performance. So this is the basics of getting started with comparing two or more symbols at once. But there's so much more to tell you because you want to make sure when you're doing this, you're doing it in a way that makes sense for you. For example, we actually can't see the symbol names or exact values on the price scale. So let's right click and go to our chart settings. Please recall that we just recently published a huge 30 minute tutorial about all of the features in our chart settings. But in this video, we're going to show you some examples that you're going to find are quite helpful. So one example here is it says symbol. So we can turn on value and look at that. Now we see the values on the chart, but we're still missing the name. So let's check the box name. And now we see the name. If we'd like to see these lines going across the chart, we can, but let's keep this off. Now let's exit out of chart settings. And now we've really created a wonderful chart comparison here. Because we can see here, BTCUSD is up 143% over this time, Google's up 29%, and so on. So we are comparing all of these symbols at the same time. Now you can do even more for comparing two or more symbols at once, and if you'd like, we can hide these. Because you don't necessarily need to compare them only on the same chart, you can also use your multiple chart layout to sort of stack them against each other as needed. So we have Tesla here. We can add BTC USD here. We could add gold here. And now while they aren't shown on the same exact charts with the same price scale, what they are shown on, just change that to default. In fact, let's change them all to our default template. So they all look the same. But what you are doing is you're seeing the three charts all at the same time, and you can make your comparisons as needed in a different format. So there are now two different ways you can do chart comparisons. You can quite literally compare or add symbols with the plus, or you can use the multi-chart layout features to visualize all of these charts right here. And recall that you can even adjust your chart panes until you have the perfect comparison process working for you. And one final tidbit here is you can actually still use the compare tool in the multi-chart layout to compare symbols as well. So watch this. We're going to unhide Bitcoin. How cool is that? We've got Bitcoin and Tesla here now on the same chart. 
And what we need to do is probably put this to a percentage. There we go. That looks much better. So this really unlocks infinite ways for you to compare symbols because not only are you now comparing them on the multi-chart layout, but you're doing comparisons within your multi-chart layouts. Okay, let's go back to this single chart layout here. Let's just have Tesla up. Let's change this to a line chart. And now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the price of Tesla to the price of gas over time. Well, not over time, since the start of the year. So now what we're going to do is walk you through a, you know, a real example, because this is one of the best ways to really grasp how you can use this tool. We showed you how you could add various symbols, whether it's your portfolio or pair trades. Now let's just talk about the different ways you can compare symbols and think about them in a real world example. Tesla is an electric car company. Gas, power, oil in this case, powers cars. It's sort of the opposite of Tesla. And look at the performance. Tesla's down 28% this year. Oil's up 10% this year. So how great is that? We just did that analysis in under 30 seconds. You can make similar comparisons by following what we just did. Using the compare or add symbol button. Then you have these quick capabilities to measure their performance over specific points in time. In this case, year to date. So now we've got sort of a pair trade working. And let's say you think Tesla is going to close this gap before the year's over and oil is going to sink. Well, now you've just constructed your pair trade, which would be short oil, long Tesla. Remember, this is just a tutorial video. Do not actually do that. No recommendations here, just education, just entertainment. But the point is, this is how you can think about these types of charts when you create them. In addition, there's some more really important points you must pay close attention to, which is the price scale. And you probably saw us just right clicking on the price scale in the previous example, because while we are comparing symbols, we have specific features that make the comparison especially important. So right now we're on a percentage basis. That means the scale here is being calculated in percentage terms. Tesla is up 10% since the start of the year. Tesla or Oil is up 10% since the start of the year. Oil is up 10% since the start of the year. Tesla is down 28% since the start of the year. But we don't actually see the price of Tesla or oil, do we? Well, if we click regular, now we're just comparing them on a price scale. So the price of Tesla is $177. The price of oil is $78. And we can change the price scale how we need. And we can see their actual prices over time. This, of course, is going to be way different than a percentage comparison because a percentage comparison measures the change in price, whereas this is just literally price. Now, this can be really difficult if one asset, say, trades for $10,000 a share and another trades for $1 a share because the scale will just be so, it's so hard to fit that much information in a detailed manner. But if you'd like, you can do this. But let's right click again and show you one more option indexed to 100. This is a very cool feature for comparing symbols because what it means is every symbol at the starting point here starts at 100. So it starts at a hypothetical 100. Imagine you held $100 worth of oil and $100 worth of Tesla over the last six months. Well, you'd be down on both of them because now that, that's only worth $89 and $65. So it's sort of an index to 100. Everything starts at 100 and then you watch the performance over time. If we go to year to date, well, recall our percentage change. Now we can see that you'd be up on oil, but down on Tesla. So index to 100 is another fantastic feature for comparing symbols. Then of course there's logarithmic, but there's also move scale to the left. So your comparisons are now running still across the chart, but the scales on the left, you're probably going to want to keep it on the right. That's definitely a more common occurrence. Nevertheless, this is the basics of performing a comparison of symbols. And what's even better is we have more to show you because, to some degree, this also applies to technicals and fundamentals. So let's just say you wanted to compare something different. Maybe you want to compare the actual price to the technical indicator accumulation distribution. Well, we've just added the indicator to the chart, as you saw from our indicators menu. And did you know if we click and hold, so click and hold, and now drag this onto the chart, well, look at this. We are now comparing the indicator to the price, all on the same chart.
and we even have two scales here to work from. Now recall they're going to be in different metrics because of the way they are calculating their specific features. Tesla is a per share, while accumulation distribution is more of a volume-based tool. But if you really wanted to, if you do start to do these types of things, you can merge all of the scales into one. Now this tool sometimes does not work great for these this wide of a range because Tesla trades at at a certain more indexed to 100, so let's go to regular. Tesla trades at $177, whereas this says 14 billion. So we'd want to find an, an indicator that maybe is roughly in the same area. And if we wanted to, what we could do, and let's just see if we can find a great example. Perhaps we can use choppiness index for this. Let's see, click, drag, voila. Now, watch this, merge all scales into one on the right, what it's just done now is it's made one chart and it's merged them all the price information right here. So there's no pain underneath, it's all on one chart. We've merged it into one scale. So that is a fantastic feature as well if you ever need to access that. And there's going to be many different reasons to access that, especially if you have tons of symbols or indicators on the chart. You can quickly merge them as needed onto one price scale. So as we wrap up, the final thing that we want to show you is we're going to take you back to the beginning of the video, compare or add symbols. Now when you compare or add symbols, it's essential that you pay attention to the options to, you know, presented to you. You can hover your mouse over one of these three options to quickly add the price to your chart according to one of the scale options we've shown you. So let's walk through them all. Tesla, let's add crude oil, same percentage scale. So we click and it's loading. You can see it loading up here. There we go. Tesla and oil are being calculated on the same percentage scale. You can see that right there. Okay, let's do this again. Let's click oil, new price scale. Well, now we're doing what we just mentioned. We have two separate price scales now. So you can see the prices of Tesla here. This first scale is Tesla. This second scale is oil. And if you'd like, we can merge them all into one on the left or the right. We've already shown you that. We're not going to do that. We're going to exit oil. We're going to click plus, And then we're going to show you new pane. So now that we click new pane, well, now we have the price of crude oil right below us. And what we've got now is we've got Tesla here, crude oil here, two entirely separate panes. This line here is dividing the two planes entirely. The choice is yours. So that's another key takeaway from this video and all of the options you have when performing a comparison of symbols. And to sort of wrap this up, what we're going to do is we are going to add many symbols to the chart. That's actually two year USD, so let's delete that one. Let's add total crypto market cap and check this out. We are making a mega spaghetti chart here. Sometimes people call them spaghetti charts, and we can see their comparison over time and move through time. We could add any symbol as we've done here. We're showing you a range of symbols, but you can keep it asset class specific, just equities, just futures, just crypto, just Forex. The choice is yours. But this is everything you ever wanted to know about comparing two or more symbols on TradingView. And don't forget that as you get started to explore the settings menu, because it kind of takes us back to the start of the video. And also for you to go learn more in our Help Center or on our YouTube channel or where we walk you through all of this to ensure you are also showing the data on the price scale or on the chart itself using the chart settings available to you. Like we said, if you have more questions about chart settings and getting all this data in the way you like it, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch our chart settings walkthrough. Thank you to everyone for watching. Please ask us any questions below.